so many oils, so many products, so many things to grow your hair. I'm experiencing a lot of length, guys. Look at where my hair is right now. These two, I believe, are the ones I split. Yeah. If you're new here, around here, I share my lock journey in hopes of us being confident in rocking our natural hair. And we'll soon start sharing my small business journey as I launch products for textured hair. So to get things started, how time flies. I can't believe how how quickly 26 months have gone by. Looking back at it, I feel like I honestly just got my locks the other day. But I mean, parts of the journey felt slow. Parts of the journey felt fast. This month actually has been really interesting for my lock journey. The first notable thing that I want to share is I split some locks. I think I might have talked about this in a previous video or maybe I didn't. But what's so interesting about this, I'm going to show you. I split and this is wild. It's wild because I can't even figure out the locks that I split. I feel like those locks have just progressed so quickly and I don't know what well, I think I know what I was doing. I think it was this one and yeah, these two, I think. No, they'd have to be close to each other. Yeah, these two. Y'all, just look at them. It's wild to think that they've locked so quickly in such a short amount of time. And I really can't contribute the quick locking process to anything other than just letting my hair be. If anyone would have told me this when I first started my lock journey, I wouldn't, I will, people did say that, but I didn't believe them. But really your hair flourishes when you let it be. Not neglect it, but when you let it be. So I split those two locks and I'm really happy with my decision to split them. The reason why I split them is when I first put my locks in, I noticed that my parting wasn't even on all parts of my head, especially in the front. I wanted a more fuller look. So I started splitting locks just to have more locks. It was thinner in the front. So now I have like this fuller look, which mimics like micro locks or sister locks, which I love the fullness of them. So in order to get a very centered middle part, I split the two locks that I showed you so I could have more locks and so I could have a clean line down the middle. And so far, I don't regret it. It was a pretty simple process. What's really interesting is people talk about how you lose so much hair. And yes, you do lose a lot of hair. But when I took down those locks, I didn't feel like I lost a significant amount of hair, but maybe it's because I'm not so far into my lock journey. I mean, when you really think about two years, it's not that long, but I think technique also matters. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm a professional at unraveling locks because I'm not. So even if I were to talk about technique, I don't know what I'd tell you other than I used a bunch of, I did, I didn't have conditioner. So instead of conditioner, I used a mixture of oils. And I had a moisturizer that my husband uses for his hair. It's the melanin hair care moisturizer. And I put that in my hair and, my, and just started combing away. And it really took me like 20 minutes to get that one lock split. Now, as far as length of time, if you were considering splitting more than one lock or more than two locks, then it could take you some time. But I think the more you get used to it and get in the flow of things, it'll probably get easier. Next, um, I've talked about my postpartum shedding and I feel like I'm going to continue talking about it. I've been reading about how rosemary oil helps with shedding and I know I got a recommendation for biotin. So I am going to be trying different mixtures of oils on my edges. I will add in the rosemary oil for sure. I believe in the past rosemary oil has been helpful for myself. So I'm really excited to use it and at first when I started thinking about my edges being gone I was a little bit frustrated and I was like oh my goodness and I might have shared some of these feelings in a previous video but now I'm like you know what this is an opportunity to start a new journey and also learn a little bit more about hair growth I feel like we've been told so much about hair growth oh my goodness so many oils, so many products, so many things to grow your hair. And for me, I'm at the point where I want to figure out what works for me, like what actually works versus what am I being told works. And I'm really excited to see what happens with my edges and how they grow. As far as washing my hair, I haven't really changed my routine. If anything, I'm washing it a little bit less than I was. But what I've decided with my hair is I'm just going to wash it when I feel like washing it. I'm going to let it be when I feel like letting it be. I'm not really going to. Oh, this is something too. What I've discovered is 
I've stopped setting like strict routines for my hair. I'm kind of letting it tell me what I need to do or paying close attention to what needs to happen. So if I notice buildup, if I notice that my scalp's getting a little bit dry, or if I notice any changes in my hair, then that's going to prompt me to take action. Not saying that I'm not going to have a consistent routine, but I've stopped putting like timelines on my hair and deadlines or, or time frames. For example, I used to say that I only retwi retwist four times a year, which was great. I think that got me in a mindset of trying to figure out how often I wanted to retwist my hair. However, that strict guideline didn't work so well this year because my hair grew at a rate that I did not expect it to grow. But I think setting a guideline is exactly what it is. It's a guideline to help direct you in a certain way, but the more you can just let your hair be and go with the flow i think the easier it will be based on my experience so as far as the length goes i'm experiencing a lot of length guys look at where my hair is right now y'all this is crazy this is so insane like you wouldn't be able to tell if my hair was just the way it is right now but how i noticed this is i was filming videos and as i've been filming like i'll turn and when I'm filming like back angles of my hair, that's when I started to notice that your hair is actually growing, Laura. Like how, when did my hair get here? When I was a loose natural, my hair never got this long. How is it possible? Oops, and I feel like I might be making how is it possible? That's long for me. I think the longest I've ever seen my hair when I was a loose natural was probably closer to here. And that's because I wasn't retaining length. So it's not that textured hair cannot grow, it's really that we don't retain our length. I never thought that there'd be a day where my hair would be this long. And it's sad because if you think about it, this isn't even as long as hair could be, but I'm excited about that. So length, I'm seeing length now. And if you're thinking about your lock journey and where you are, I started seeing length year two. I think part of it is I just stopped doing too much with my hair. Over time, my routine has gotten more simple. What I'm working with right now works for me. Just oiling my hair daily now that it's getting to the winter months and washing it when I feel like it needs to be washed and then low manipulation now because I don't have edges at the moment. So a center part is going to be what I am rocking from here moving forward. So that's really all there is to say about hair updates um i haven't tried anything new this month and i don't think i plan on trying anything new unless i change my mind next month hopefully you enjoyed this quick update i plan on doing these every once in a while i think maybe every other month i'll share an update of where things are if i change my mind and decide to do the monthly or if there's more information to share i definitely will share that otherwise thank you so much for watching subscribe to follow along this journey again thank you if you're a returning subscriber otherwise i will see you in the next video